Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and it's Technique Tuesday. So let me go ahead and show you what I've got. If you wanted to order anything, here is some information for the September host code. The online class is going to be on Gnome for the Holidays in October. You can get that by buying the Gnome for the Holidays or $50 minimum purchase. Or if you are part of my team, you get invited to every single one of my um, online classes. You can purchase at jeanpersani.stampinup.net. And let's get started. We are going to be doing a quick and easy um, spotlight stamping technique. So for this one, I'm going to be using His Love. It's a clean set stamp. I'm going to be using the cross here. And I'm going to be using the saying, His Love Never Fails. It is one of my favorite songs, so I thought that would be nice. We're using really basics. I'm gonna be using some Holiday Rhinestones, Whisper White, and Crushed Curry, and then a small piece of designer series paper. I also have just a scratch paper here. So let's get started. I'm gonna fold the base just like I always do. right there now I could do it right on here and not use the crushed curry but I want to have a little bit of a border so I've decided that I'm going to do my two-step stamping right on here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where I want this and then I'm going to get my stamp here and decide where I'm gonna want that and it, I love having this grid paper because now I know that I kind of want to have this right about there. Maybe a little bit lower. Yep. Right about there. So I know that I want to put the bottom of this kind of on that grid line. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to get out my Memento black. And then um, if you need the dimensions for these, please go to my blog, beautyandthestamper.com, and it will all be there along with a printed um, or a downloadable printable tutorial. So, okay, let's go ahead. We're going to put this guy right about there. Now, I could have stamped this at the exact same time, but I did not want to stamp it um, and have a little halo effect, okay? So that's why I chose not to. So I'm going to go right back over here about where I think I want the paper. Okay, it's going to be in between here. Let me line this up again here. Oh. Now what I'm doing is I'm lining up, um, I'm lining up my cross here. Now I could, like I said, I could have very easily went the easy route to do this. But decided not to. Okay. So I'm going to st stick this one right here. I had it over just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now all I'm going to do is I'm going to line this little guy up like this. And I did have it. I could have had it over just a little bit more. 
but that is okay. We're going to fix that up. And you can make your cross longer if you'd like, but I'm going to line it up exactly where it's supposed to be. And then after I get that right where I want it, I'm going to take my other saying here, which is his love never fails. And I'm going to put that right on here. There we go. Perfect. So now that I have this right where I want it, I do definitely want to take off just a piece right over here. And rather than trying to measure it all up, I'm just going to know exactly I want it to be right about there. And then I'm going to just take my trimmer. I'm actually going to grab my mini trimmer for this one. We're just going to trim that down just a little bit. I love the designer series paper. You could, even if you wanted to, um, put some dimensionals, raise it up just a little bit. If you are interested in doing um, something like that, giving it even just a little bit more dimension or putting it straight down onto the card. So however you'd like, but it is that quick, it is that simple. And again, if you want to do it at the same exact time, that's fine. You could um, even raise it up just a little bit to get rid of any halo effect. So let's go ahead and put this all together. We are going to take the crushed curry part. And I'm actually going to take some of the uh, multi-purpose glue because I want to move it around a little bit and the reason I say that is because it is a very thin border so when I do that I like to be able to move it just in case oh there we go just like that I'm going to do the same here, but I'm going to use the stamp and seal. And this one has a, a wider border. I like to do my borders on this side, so. And I think I am going to go ahead and do the dimensionals, have this popped up just a little bit to give it some nice dimension. I'm going to put this all the way at the ends here. And I'm going to put quite a bit because this is a uh, designer series paper, so it is not um, as sturdy as, say, cardstock. So I'm putting quite a bit on there, but that's okay. These dimensionals, there's so many, it goes a long way. And what we're doing, it's called spotlighting on this one. Now, if I wanted to uh, spotlight a different way, I could just color a portion of it. But this is gonna be colored um, by the designer series paper. So I hope you like this. This is a fun little easy card. I probably even made it look a little bit harder than it needs to be. And this is probably the most difficult part of everything is just lining that up. And there we go, look how cute that is. Now we're just gonna finish this up 
with some of our holiday rhinestones. If you know me, I love to put big and little, big and little. And then I think we're going to put just a couple more. Maybe one right there. And then one more. It's always that last one that I never know where I want it. I think we're going to go right here. Oh, we're going to go right there. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. And it is still nice and sturdy. You can mail that. And it's ready to go. We've got the color in there. And then we've got that part which is um, blank. So we're just spotlighting the area of color. All right, beauties. Have a wonderful day. I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And again, visit beautyinthestamper.com to get all the dimensions and the downloadable free tutorial. All right, I will see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.